the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This is Pastor Taylor. Alleluia, Christ is risen. That's what Cleopas and the unnamed disciples said in Luke chapter 24, after they prayed these words, stay with us. They had spoken it to a man who accompanied them on their walk in despondency and despair. And that person who walked with them was Jesus Christ himself, opening up their minds to understand the scriptures and showing them how he was the one who was the Christ, who was going to suffer and die and rise again to save the entire world. Stay with us. It was their prayer, and Jesus did. He came into the house, he broke bread and shared it with them. And they recognized him and proclaimed, Alleluia, Christ is risen. Stay with us is what we pray, as Jesus stays with us, coming to us through his holy word. That word that we hear preached and taught, that word we read and share. Stay with us, and he does, as he baptizes us into his death and resurrection, forgiving us all of our sins. Stay with us, and he does, as he meets us at the holy altar, giving us his body and blood. Stay with us, and he does as he brings us the words of holy absolution, forgiving us all that is past. Stay with us. Let it be your prayer. Try with me. Stay with us. Stay with us. That's right. And he does. He meets us right inside of our homes and allows us in our despondency and despair to recognize him as he's among us and to proclaim with disciples of every time and place, Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Thanks be to God. He stays with us. The blessing of God Almighty be upon you and remain with you forever. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.